Hello! In this tutorial I will show you how to create a glossy heart in GIMP 2.8. Our glossy heart is going to look like this. To be able to complete this tutorial you need to have a heart brush or a puff in the shape of heart. If you have neither of those, first have a look at one of my previous tutorials on how to make a heart brush. You should see the link right on the screen. For starters, open GIMP and create a new file 600 by 600 pixels. First we need to create guides. Go to Image, Guides, New Guide by Percent. Here select Horizontal for direction and for the position select 50. Now repeat the step, but this time change direction to Vertical. Next create a new transparent layer. Take a brush and now find in your library a heart. Set your foreground to red and this should be FF0000. Now you are able to see that my brush is magnetized to the guides and this is what helps me to place it right in the middle of the canvas. Right click on the layer with heart, alpha to selection. Just in case if I need it later I'm going to create a puff from the selection of our heart. So I'm going to puffs. If you don't have your puffs tab open go to this small triangle on the top and go to add tab and then find puffs. Next click Selection to Puff. Alright, now we need to make this red heart to look glossy somehow. So let's create a new transparent layer. Set your foreground color to black. Take the Blend tool and in Tool Options set Gradient Foreground to Transparent, Shape to Linear. Pull the gradient from the bottom of the heart to a bit forward in the middle of the heart. Set the slide to grain merge and the opacity to about 55%. As you noticed, I keep the selection around the heart all the time, but if you lose it, you can always make it from the puff. Next create a new transparent layer. Go to Puffs and click on Stroke Puff. Keep everything at default apart from Line Width which should be set to 40. Now go to Filters, Blah, Gaussian Blah. Set the blur radius to 100 pixels. Set the layer to grain merge, opacity keep at 100%. Next create a new transparent layer. Take the blend tool and in tool options. Keep your gradient foreground to transparent, but change shape to radial. Pull the gradient the way you see on the screen. Set this layer to overlay and opacity to about 50%. Create a new transparent layer. Set your foreground color to white. Take the Blend tool and use the settings from the previous step. Now pull the gradient right in the middle of the heart. Set this layer to Overlay.
create a new transparent layer. Make sure your foreground color is white. Take the heart brush you used to create the heart, but you need to reduce the size almost by half. Now I need to uncheck Snap to Guides, which is what causing the brush to be magnetized to the guides. And this time I don't want to place it, the brush in the middle of the heart, but a bit higher. Yes, now I am able to do it. So I am clicking once to create a white heart. Next I am going to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Here I'm using the settings from the previous time, which is 100 pixels. Set this layer to Grain Merge, opacity to about 45%. Next create a new transparent layer. Take Paths tool. Now I need to zoom in to see better what I'm doing. Now set three points the way you see on the screen. This step is the most time consuming because it takes a bit of time and practice to create this little reflection from the path, but believe me, it's really worth it because without this reflection the heart won't look glossy. When the shape is ready, go to Paths and click Path to Selection. Make sure your foreground set to white, take Bucket Tool and fill your selection. Go to Select, Select None. Duplicate the layer with selection. Next go to Layer, Auto Crop Layer. Now I'm going to turn this second reflection a bit, so I'm going to layer, transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Take the move tool and position the second reflection on the right side of the heart. Create a new transparent layer. Take Paths tool. Now set three points the way you see on the screen. Pull one of the lines kind of to the side to create a little arc. When the shape is ready, go to Paths and click Path to Selection. Take Bucket tool and fill your selection with white. Next go to Select, Select None. Set the opacity of this layer to about 80%. And the last step, you need to go to Image, Flatten Image. Here we are, our glossy heart is ready. There is a lot of different ways to create a glossy heart. I tried to show you one of the easiest ways and I hope that you learned something new today and enjoyed this tutorial in general. So, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.